hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are diving into a topic that affects millions worldwide and that is infertility whether you here to learn to support someone you love your colleague or your girlfriend or your best friend or to take the next step into your own journey you've come to the right place let's get started but before we proceed, if this is your first time stopping by here, my name is Snelly. And if you like my content, please click to follow for more. Thank you. So what exactly is infertility? Medically speaking, it is defined as not being able to get pregnant after one year of regular unprotected sex or six months if you have over 35 years that is because as women age fertility naturally declines but let's break this down even furthermore for a woman's body to be prepared for pregnancy the woman's body will need to release an egg from her ovary every month and it doesn't just end there for this to complete, a man's sperm must fertilize that egg that the woman's body released. When the sperm fertilizes the egg from the woman, the fertilized egg travels through the fallopian tube to the uterus. So you can see, it takes a lot for pregnancy to occur. The embryo attaches to the uterus, this is called implantation. So this is a process, if the sperm and the egg did not fertilize, there will be no embryo and without an embryo, there will be no implantation. So this is one of the steps. So you see, if any of the steps don't happen as they should, it can lead to infertility. To me, I will call this a biochemical reaction but wait there is more to the story according to researches do you know that infertility is more common than you might think in the United States alone one in five married women aged 15 to 49 years old have trouble getting pregnant after a year of trying and about one in four in the same group face challenges carry a pregnancy to 10. So, does this sound familiar? You're not far from the truth. Now let's talk about the causes. Women need healthy ovaries, fallopian tubes, and a functioning uterus to get pregnant. Now the problem in any of this area can lead to infertility which lead us to the causes of infertility. Number one, ovarian function. This is like a condition like PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome or a diminished ovarian reserve can prevent ovulation. So what I mean by this is when your ovaries are not functioning, they are malfunctioning. Another name for that is called polycystic ovary syndrome or diminished ovary reserve. Another one is fallopian tubes. When your fallopian tubes have blockage from infection, endometriosis or parasurgery that can stop the egg from meeting the sperm, this can also lead to infertility. Another major cause again is the uterus. Like I said earlier, the uterus need to be healthy to carry a pregnancy. So the uterus, things like fibroid or adhesion can make implantation difficult. While you might be wondering all these are the causes that lead to infertility, you might ask yourself, then what increase the risk of infertility? Well, age is a big one. Fertility decline with time because egg decrease in number and qualities. 
but there are other facts too. If you are a smoker, excessive alcohol use, you have weight issues. When I mean weight issues, when you're on the big side or you have a high stress level, these are factors that can also increase the risk of infertility. They do not cause infertility directly, but they increase the risk of infertility. In as much as the list I already talked about increase the risk of infertility, there's a good news because those lists are something we can avoid. They are modifiable. So we have to watch the way we eat. If you're an excessive coffee drinker, if you're an alcoholic, you can change that. Those are lifestyle changes you can do to increase your chance of being fair time. Here's the good news. If you're facing challenges, help is available. There are a lot of researches, there are a lot of resources reproductive and recognologists specialize in diagnosing and treating infertility. You can ask to be seen. You can also assist. They also assist with the issue like recurrent pregnancy loss, which is defined as having two or more miscarriages. If you have a reproductive endocrinologist, you can see them and be asked to be tested and you know your body more than anyone. When you go to see this doctor, they might recommend tests like ovulation predictor kits or blood work for hormones to test your FSH or AMH. In another video, I'm going to talk about FSH or AMH, what they do to increase the risk of infertility and the role they play. The doctor may also check your fallopian tube with imaging testing like heavy safan geogram. Another name for this test is called HSG. This test can uncover issues and guide the right treatment for you. I make video on health here with illustrations. Let me know in the comment section if you want more videos like this and share with someone you love, you think, you know, might need this video. And remember, my dear, you are not alone in this journey. Also remember, infertility is just one part of your story. It doesn't define who you are. It doesn't define your future. I say this because I know you're going to work at something. Infertility is very spiritual, it's very emotional, and it's very challenging mentally. So if you're struggling, reach out to a healthcare professional. Lean on your support system. That will heal a lot. And remember to take one step at a time. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and 